To the Fresh of the Word podcast. This is a new segment. We're going to be a fucking shoot cast interview. <laughs> shoot cast. With my fucking homies right here. Over here in the corner here, we got Knox Money. Yeah, man. He has a new fucking album out called Going Over. It's the start of his heel run. Yeah, Knox man. Mania is dead. Yup, heel life. Fucking, he's a heel life. heel life right now. Hollywood Knox Money. And the man across the table with me is the man who produced that said album. Fucking Steve-O, or Steve-O. Wait, what's the what's the emphasis on the syllable for that? Uh, just Steve-O works. Steve-O, uh, you know, yeah. Nice. I got a long Polish last name that I just, everybody just called me Steve-O. Fuck it. Yeah, I, I've yeah. seen that name before. I don't know what the fuck, how the <laughs> fuck to say that. Yeah. But we're gonna keep it kayfabe here. Yeah. So your last name doesn't fucking exist. No. That's the work <laughs> name. What is a last name? <laughs> what the fuck is a last name? We're here fucking talking about fucking New Japan pro wrestling. Yeah, we got some New Japan on in the background. Yeah, man. W- watching the fucking Biz Clips fucking win their belts again. Yeah, Knox Money hasn't seen much yeah, New I Japan. I don't think I could do uh, promos and subtitles. It's ridiculous. Well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. That's, but but the thing is, okay. over there, you, uh, like, you don't have to fucking do these long promos. Right. Like, you, they just get to the point. It's just basically, like... Like, you ain't shit, I want to fight you, I can beat you. Uh, okay. Come get some. You can stand on his face, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, that's fucking oh, Ken- yeah. Ooh, That's Kenny Omega. Like, I kind of hated him at first, but he's growing on me. Okay. Yeah, Kenny Omega's sweet. Like, he's the fucking cleaner he's of the Bullet some, Club. He's got like, 1984 hair. Yeah, his hair is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that's the junior heavyweight belt he's got, right? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's fucking, he's fucking insane, though. Like, he just comes out in the most, like... Promos are weird. Yeah, because he, he talks like in a fucking weird, maniacal, like, ha 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 ha. Okay. I'm Super coming to animated. clean up yeah. New Japan. Yeah. yeah, he's wild. Oh, man. The Funky Weapon, one of my favorite uh, names in New Japan. The Funky Weapon. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. They got that fucking. Man, they have some fucking crazy shit. Like, oh, and I fucking didn't even realize this after a while. You know the one fucking dude, uh, Fuck, what's his name? Uh, Kusada? He's fucking just, just like Marty McFly. Yeah, and oh yeah. His, and his whole gimmick is Back to the Future. Hey, I've seen those dudes on Ring of Honor. Yeah. Uh, the fucking time, T- time splitters. Time splitters, yeah. yeah. But I didn't even fucking realize yeah. for the longest time that he was just, just like Marty You're McFly. You're like, hmm, that's a cool ass orange fucking vest he's got <laughs> on. For no reason. For a while, I was like, man, why is he dressed like a fat cat? Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that vest is sweet. One of the things I hope to accomplish during the podcast is work on the fresh as the word drinking game during the podcast. Okay. What's that? I'm just I'm, I'm coming up with it as we go. But oh, okay, good. All right. All right. Yeah, we got, yeah we got to figure that. Everything's organic here. You know, if we so were doing a sip of beer every time we said fuck already, we'd probably be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, man. Yeah. Shit. See, okay. You see my new fucking T-shirt that I got? Okay. What's going on with that? <laughs> this is fucking this so email up. In. Yeah, it's this, okay, it's this female uh, indie wrestler named Candice LeRae. Okay. Have you heard of her yet? No. Um, I might have seen some info on it on she's Twitter. She's fucking incredible. Like, um, she She's actually a, a tag team partner with fucking Joey Ryan, which you guys probably have heard this week, yeah. went viral because of his fucking cock. What? You oh, is that, that the dude? Yeah. Oh, wow. Them yeah. two are in a, them yeah. two are in a uh, tag team called the World's Cutest Tag Team. Okay. And she's actually dating another... Uh, the, with the dude that did the fucking the cock flip or whatever the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. fucking Joey Ryan. Yeah, they're in a... The they're, executor. They're the fucking... Uh, they're the fucking uh, World's Cutest Tag Team. Okay. And they're, they're, they do mostly shit in PWG. Mm-hmm. And have you seen the PWG shit yet? No. Oh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. It's fucking out in LA. It's fucking fantastic. All right. It's it's very it's very like it's such like a thing of their own. Very a boutique company. Okay. They do all their shows in the same fucking hall, and literally every fucking seat is like like fucking just right there next to the ring. They really look like everybody near the ring. Okay. And it, but 
everything, like everybody's a heel in this fucking place. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's fucking crazy. Okay, so the this t-shirt, baby faces. the picture of the, from this t-shirt comes from a match when Candice LeRae and Joey Ryan were actually going against the Young Bucks. And during that match, oh, yeah. fucking one of the Young Bucks brings out a fucking sp- um, a thumbtack spiked shoe. Okay. And puts it on, yeah, and then fucking party. super kicked her in the fucking Ooh. face. <laughs> and it was, and then fucking this is what happened. She oh, fucking blood. Got a bit of color. Holy she got a bit shit, of color, man. Fucking incredible. But all okay in PWG, man. All these fucking matches are crazy, man. It's just like the Bucks were over there. Yeah, the Bucks are there all the time. Um, Roderick Strong's over there a lot. Yeah. Roderick Strong's a fucking heel over there in there. Wow. Well. He's like the opposite of what he is in the fucking ring. And Roderick Strong as a heel is so fucking hilarious because he's such a fucking dick. Yeah. It, it is like, holy shit. But no, like PWG is actually really popular there. Like fucking movie stars and shit go, go to this shit out there. Nice. Ooh. And it, it's, it's out in LA? Yeah. Okay. Same place every time? Yeah. It's all, they're always have it the same place. And they're. Okay, indie scene. And like the That's fucking. Awesome. It's just loud the whole time. Yeah. It's right. fucking crazy. I'm gonna try to go to one of them next time I'm in Cali. It's fun. And it's funny with this whole like, okay, this whole fucking Joey Ryan cock thing. Like, it makes me fucking think about something. And this is a fucking talking shop reference. I wonder who would win in a fight between oh, Shelton no. Benjamin's cock yeah, yeah. and fucking Joey Ryan's cock. Oh man, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, and isn't yeah. it? Uh, isn't his cock a like a dog? Doesn't it bark like a dog? Yeah. Or? So I'm pretty sure. I don't Good think Joey man. Ryan can. Uh, yeah. Can't compete with Can't that. compete with yeah. fucking Shelton Benjamin's fucking dog of a cock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Good lord. And segue into <laughs> fuck. <laughs> enough of cock right, talk. Yeah. We had enough cock talk for right. fucking the week. Right. Yeah, man. But that shit was on everything, though, man. That, fo- that, that fucking footage went viral. It was on fucking yeah. Everybody fucking covered it. It's, yeah. It was fucking crazy, man. Like. And see, it's like that's why I'm friends that fucking don't understand wrestling. are like, what the fuck are you watching? You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? Because that's all they it's ever always see. Ba- it's always they that see sh- some fucking stupid shit like that. It's the most like embarrassing shit ever that like comes up and you're like, so you watch that shit? Right. And it's like, <laughs> god damn well, it. Well, it's not like that all the time. Right. We're, we're not just not swinging cocks around, yeah. you know? Fun. One of the best but things on uh, Raw I seen was uh, Lana's heel again. You watched Raw? I think I did. Okay. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> yeah, she's back, you know. And yeah. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, you know? That whole she's part of the League of Nations then. No, okay, that was you the weird thing. Saying? Okay, okay. That Ruth is in there, right? Yeah. But this was the funniest thing though. It was like there was like the first like hour or two of Raw didn't match up with the last hour of Raw. Because right in the end, you had the League of Nations where you had like Rusev and right. and Del Rio, and they yeah. came out with without any of their managers or whatever, right. completely ignoring what right. they did in the beginning of the show. Right, like so, <laughs> it was like, hmm, maybe that'll be a new. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, and I don't think they really know where they're going with it. No, it, it's they're shooting from the hip right now. You know, they're definitely. Fucking in a, they're in a crunch, man. They're, they're always they're even fucking tough times right now. Tough times right now. The E. <laughs> the E, man. The E isn't tough. But no, they don't. No, they don't. I don't think they give a fuck, though. Because they don't. They, they're they, fucking. Because they get guaranteed get money, money from no the. What. They have guaranteed money already from the Jeez. USA Network. Yeah. Right. They don't get paid off the advertising. Uh, USA gets the. Uh, oh, really? Advertising. There's commercials on the network now. So, so they're fucking getting paid, man. So they're. They're. There's nothing to to make them. There's no fucking NWO to yeah. or WCW or whatever to right, force no, them. There, yeah, to, the, yeah. There's nothing at uh, this point. Other no times in the, man. other times in the past, there was things that kind of forced their hand. Yeah, no reason to run if nobody's chasing you. You know. But I mean, now it's just like, eh. Right. Eh. They should switch SmackDown to uh, the network and put NXT on in their time slot, though. No. I. Th- there's way too much content going out, but you know that's <laughs> just more money for them. You right. know? Unless they think that, that being a huge selling point of the network. 
I think it is, and I think they, at, at this time, they still want to keep it like, it's, it's not, it's, it's part, NXT is part developmental, but it's also. It's its own fucking thing now. But it's its own thing. It's like, a, it's like, <clears throat> this is what um, Triple H told uh, um, Finn Balor when he came. Think of it as another territory. Yeah. And that's what basically fucking what it awesome. is. They, they, they're kind of going back to a territory thinking with that. Yeah, that's cool. So they, <coughs> so they want to kind of keep it not so mainstream. Right. Just so they can, like... They can try shit there. And the thing know? is, Triple H, run, or, like, oversees that, yeah. you know, without much, I guess, control from right. the higher-ups, you yeah. know? Okay. So that's why you get a certain... There's a certain vibe to that in comparison to fucking Raw and SmackDown. Yeah. Because you got the higher ups, like, you know, in the dec- decision making with that, you know. Yeah, I mean, a, a raw segment means a whole fucking lot more than a you know little fucking couple seconds on the network. Right, and and the thing, and what sucks now is with a lot of the NXT people like that's been coming up to the to to raw, is that, and it's not even like, it, it almost feels like that, you know, sort of hipster fucking mm-hmm. thinking like oh they're better in NXT no it was because they had more freedom in NXT yeah I wish they would just let them cook a little bit more you right. know on the fucking main roster you know somebody I just cannot fucking rock with no matter what is uh Samoa Joe man I can't fucking stand him okay d- Samoa Joe Samoa Joe is ju- is there because NXT <laughs> needs wrestlers to kind of go against you can't right. have de- all developmental people right. going against developmental people yeah. you know so he he might come up to the I, I main just, roster, I but I can't see it, man. I he's probably going to be he's probably he's someone there to yeah. so that people Coach can have storylines with yeah, you know put people over. Yeah, he he's kind of that was the reason why Rhino's there too, you know. Yeah, Rhino, man, he's sweet. Shout yeah. out to a Detroit good brother. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I know on every fucking indie show you ever see around here. Yeah, yeah. man, and you go there and it's always like NXT chance, yep. Gore chance. It's like. <laughs> I know on the podcast, yeah, man. man. That that I should probably be able to get that. Yeah, yes. man. That's okay, that's the funniest thing though. Right now, I'm like I'm trying to like reach out to wrestlers to get on this podcast. That's that awesome. shit is super hard though. Oh, yeah. I bet, man. You gotta, you got and I realize this because I'm so used to like music and right. uh, music artists have managers and publicists. Yeah. Most wrestlers don't. That's his fucking shoot life, man. <laughs> shoot on the life. Road. They do all their own shit. Yeah. You, you go to like a fucking X- ITW show. Yeah. And fucking Sanjay Dutt's like running his own merch, uh, merch table, you know? Yeah. Like, it, on it's. On the road with a bag of t shirts, man. <laughs> right. Sanjay. Fucking awesome. It'd be sweet to do a podcast with uh, Nash when he's in town when he hits the Coney. Right. Do a Coney cast. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Me and me and Daly were just talking about Nash earlier today, like uh, his run as Diesel, like how people kind of like hate on that whole era. It's like that was fucking solid shit, man. Yeah, that was real. Solid. It was yeah, it was solid shit, but it, it came at a time when it was wrestling in this, in this weird transitional period. Right between the gimmick era and like yeah, when when it became the Attitude era. I yeah, guess. and <laughs> the the gimmick era, like people got sick of it. Yeah, so. There just wasn't an audience anymore. And if you think about it, I guess he was still a gimmick guy, fucking Diesel, you know. Like, but, but it wasn't. But he wasn't. Cool. It wasn't but it wasn't a hard corny. Gimmick. It wasn't yeah. like the fucking trash, fucking the Duke the garbage Dunster? man or whatever, right, yeah. or shit like that. You know, yeah. it wasn't all the man tour, all the crazy shit that was like in the eighties and stuff. Yeah. But there were like WWF had a fucking great <laughs> run of matches and story. There just wasn't the audience at that time. Right. Yeah. But there was a lot of great things happening, Jeez, you know. Yeah. I feel that fucking era, man. You know, that was a good era for me. Fucking yeah, fucking goddamn Vader going hard. Yeah, but then, uh, Vader, uh, another American that toured. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was one. He's big in Japan. Yeah, he's yeah, big in Japan. like um, yeah, um, Vader, <coughs> Scott Norton, yeah. uh, Brock Lesnar. They were all the IWGP. Uh, the god Terry Funk, right? Yeah, he's clearly big in Japan. He's big everywhere. <coughs> yeah. Look, yeah. Terry Funk is big yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vader, man. But that, yeah, but that fucking early, the, those early 90s WWF, you know, with Big Diesel and right, fucking yeah. Razor Ramon yep. and, 
and Shawn Michaels. Fabio and Vega. All the <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> the beginnings of the nation of domination yeah, and man. shit like that was was actually really incredible. Yeah. It was just that them trying to find their way again, you know. Ahmed Johnson was the man in that fucking era also. Oh yeah, yeah dude. dude. He was. Pro dude. River Plunge was that shit. <laughs> That dude was so jacked, man. Yeah. He was so fucking big. I was watching some old WCW shit, and he was just in there all fat, like recently. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, what?" Like I was watching how the network. Oh, Harlem Johnson, yeah, wasn't yeah. he in Harlem like, Heat? Yeah. I was like, what is going <laughs> yeah. on? No, that was Harlem. He was in Harlem Heat. Heat. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. What at the beginning was it? No, no, no. no at the at end, the, like at in two thousand or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I blocked that out. Yeah, man. No, I totally yeah. blocked that out. <laughs> it might have just been him and Stevie I'm Ray like, and Booker T was doing his own thing, but yeah. I can't. Honestly, like, the end, okay, the out? end of the WCW run, I really blacked out things. <laughs> Even though I, uh, I, I was still, still watching, watching it. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. I was still watching it, but I, I, bla- it. But I blacked. But awesome. I go back and I l- watch it. I'm like, I totally forgot about. I l- literally totally forgot about the whole hardcore division. And I oh totally, yeah. yeah, and I totally Fucking, forgot uh, that junkyard match. Sandman I forgot was... that. I forgot Sandman was even in there as hardcore yeah. hack. Oh yeah. It it totally slipped. Like oh, yeah. I blocked that shit out of my mind. Norman was crazy. Smiley was the fucking man. Oh my god, I love Norman Smiley, man. Yeah, so yeah, it's like so it's cool, it's good. Chris, Chris <laughs> loved Norman yeah. Smiley. Norman Smiley was the fucking Norman Smiley. He's at the he's at the training center now too. Yeah, he, he's like yeah. one of the, like he he keeps like the fucking. He never had a run in the E, did he? Norman Smiley? Yeah, never. I, no, I, like, I, I was. was uh, Norman Smiley's one of those people that that sort of just, you know keeps the wrestling industry yeah, together, man. Yeah, solid in the he's ring. He's fucking working, solid. Man, he, he teaches people, man. Yeah. He fucking, he's a fucking man, dude. I love Norman Smiley. I remember he, used to, he would come to the ring with the fucking like flotation device was on and shit <laughs> yeah. in the hardcore era. All types of fucking like gear to protect him. Dude, like those fucking hardcore divisions in oh, WCW man. and WWF were terrible. Cause they were, it was so. It wasn't as bad as their commentating was in that era, like oh my Mark God. Madden and shit, and like there were some terrible motherfuckers on commentary in WCW in like '99 and 2000. Yeah. Oh. But okay, the hardcore division in the WWE, uh, WWE always hated that, that belt. Always hated, I hated that. Hated and, the belt. And wait, I hated the. Wait, where? Which which belt did you hate? The F. Hardcore belt. Oh wow, the yeah. broken yeah. Yeah. fucking eagle with the, with the tape. With the duct yeah. tape. Beautiful. Oh, the oh, Mick no. brought it out, know what man. I, know what I, okay, you know what I hated about that division? The whole rule that you could like win the belt at any time. Oh, There's yeah. literally yeah. no matches. Crash Holly. Yeah, was Crash like, Holly made that so dope. <laughs> yeah. But R- it was, R- RIP Crash Holly, right? RIP R- Crash Holly. Yeah. Oh, he died a while ago. R- R- oh Holly. shit! Fucking pour one out for Yeah, man. Crash Holly. I seen him at the Powerhouse Gym in Westland what? one time. Yes, they were in town. <laughs> Did you fucking Crash Holly at I the gym? Cra- yeah, I saw Crash Holly at was the he gym. Old, was he carrying the scale? No. Okay. All right. I don't know. I wasn't sure. That was a work. I feel like it was. I feel like it was after his run as Hardcore Champ because I didn't try to go. You and didn't go for the pin. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go for the pin when he was on the treadmill. I could have tripped him. I guess. That shit was money, man. Yep, Powerhouse Gym, Westland. They were in town. Dude, okay, right there. That was Nakamura. He's yeah. one of the fucking greatest fucking guys in fucking wrestling these fucking days. I love New Japan. I love that I had this channel on DirecTV, uh, the Access channel. I, l- I love the dude that does the commentating out here, yeah. Maru Nella. He, was, he used to do like, uh, like UFC and shit like that. Yeah, that's why his voice sounds familiar. And, huh? dude, I wish he could be fucking on Raw or something, man. Like... I wish he could just, just be the fucking commentator for every wrestling. Oh, make it so weird. Yo, like, uh, Mike His Cole? finisher might be my favorite. <laughs> no, I don't like Michael Cole. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. I hate Come Michael on, Cole. Man. I like Dude, Michael Cole. Wait, do you remember when Michael Cole was the fucking heel announcer? Oh, yeah. Years ago? Oh, yeah. That was the fucking worst. Oh, man. yeah. <laughs> that w- and he had the match with fucking Jerry the King. Oh, my God. That was bad. That shit was horrible, man. Yeah, but it was awesome. Anything worse than the anonymous raw GM the, on Excuse the computer? Me. Yeah. <laughs> I've just received a message. <laughs> remember, remember at the end of the fucking WCW run when they had the fucking powers that be during the Vince Russo era? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm foggy on it. Vince Russo era. <laughs> I just they, they had the whole beautiful. and they kept on they kept on fucking just referring it to the powers that be. Yeah. And then you might see like a hand coming out like. Like fucking Inspector Gadget, the yeah. fucking. <laughs> uh, might be Chucky, be like, might be fucking RoboCop. You never know. <laughs> right, you have no idea who it was. Right. 
the wrestling Illuminati. Right. Dude, at the end of the fucking WCW's run, it was just like they they flip flopped so much because yeah. fucking yeah. people were going in and out of there, like as writer wise. So it'd be crazy. You went from like the powers at B angle, and then next week it would just be like all wrestling. You remember the all Matt wrestling. You remember the like when they just did the fucking okay, we're just gonna erase everything, we're starting over right now. They did that like mm-hmm. on a fucking nitro or something. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's like what a, I was talking about. It was yeah, just like, like and, and for like a whole. And for like a whole episode, it was just nothing but like Matt wrestling. Right. It was like like Fit Finley matches and stuff like that, you know. And um, they're good matches, but there was no storylines at all. Right. And it was just like we're, we're just gonna fucking ignore everything that happened last week and before. <laughs> <It's> starting. <over. laughs> they basically just fucking start over, started over, man. It was fucking. That's why the company is in this position that it's in. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit like this. Yeah. I remember Nash cutting a uh, shoot promo fucking live TV, shoot promo, and man. everybody gave him shit because I think he dropped the f bomb or something on it. I well, yeah. you know, he was like live TV f bomb or something. I vaguely remember that he cut he cut a shoot promo. I'm pretty sure, pretty late in his run there. Man. It's crazy, like all those top guys had fucking guaranteed contracts, so oh, after yeah. that shit ran, they yeah. were still making money. Right. That shit fucking closed right. up. That's, fucking <laughs> That's why none of them went to uh, WWF, yeah. like, because they they still had fucking guaranteed money, so just sit home and do nothing. And that's why they weren't there for like the last episodes and stuff. That's why, like, the original Mister Overrated uh, Sting should have went right, Whoa. Out of, right out of the WCW fucking run. He should have just showed up like right out. Of Shouldn't have held out so long, man. He's all old and fucking. Right, and he gets fucking he hurt. Doing nothing. He got fucking fucked one match up with on fucking favorite guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I never heard what his injuries were. He but fucked like, up his neck or something. Yeah, it was like his neck back. He looked like, awkward as fuck when he fell through the well, table. He's out here wrestling Seth Rollins, fucking greatest wrestler in the world right now. <sighs> yeah, man. Well, not right now, but. <laughs> not right now. Yeah. Can't wait till he comes back, though. Yeah, yep. Rebuild, man. I think, that, I think that would be back, fucking, fucking white meat baby oh, face. Oh, he, he better, man. Woo! I, I think it would be the roof off, man. I th- yeah, I think it would be a fucking missed opportunity if he comes back a, a fucking heel. He yeah, there's come no back, chance. He has to come back as a fucking baby face. He's gonna you know? come out and get a fucking uh, Legion of Doom pop, no matter what. You know Ro- what I'm saying? Road Warrior. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Road Warrior pop. Same thing. Yeah, right, same thing. <laughs> gonna get the same pop. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> He's gonna be big. Speaking of the Road Warriors' favorite match in their LOD run, um, they had a bit of a, I think it was a no DQ match with the Nasty Boys on uh, some, you know. Okay. Some fucking Nasty Boys. tape or something? No, no, it was a pay-per-view. <laughs> it was like, could have been Mania, could have been SummerSlam. It's escaped my memory, but it was a good match. Jimmy Hart with the, with the motorcycle helmet on. Yeah. Dude, Jimmy Hart was in town recently. Like a bunch I of people, like, yeah. like fucking Marky P and like, right. I'm and, like, wait, what the fuck? And Nick Nader got like fucking like uh, pictures on him because he was down at like Chelly's Chili and shit. Damn it! <laughs> got a fucking feature from him. I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> Is he done with the pincher again here? Yeah. Who slew me after that? Oh, this guy. He's in the Bullet Club. Yeah, Kenny okay. Omega's in the Bullet Club. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here comes fucking Captain New Japan. <laughs> this fucking Sin Cara. <laughs> no, it's not a Everybody with a mask, no? Well, you just think everybody in a mask is a cigar. Well, that's your Ray Mysterio. Fuck you. That's wait, hey, wait, have you, uh, who was it, uh, Alberto Del Rio accidentally ripped somebody's mask off on Raw. It was like either Kalisto or... No, he, no, he did it on purpose. He was trying he to do it on purpose. Man, that, was trying to get I, some heel heat, I man. think they worked me then, because I, <laughs> I thought that was... I was like, oh, shit. I was like, that was, they didn't mean to do that. No, man. He was, he was up there trying to do that shit, Oh, man. man. He was trying to get it that... It looked button. like it just came off, and he was trying to help him get it back on. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Live TV, yeah. No, man. I think he was, like, was fucking trying... To, I think he did... He was, Fucking doing that shit on purpose, man. Trying to get that luchador man. heel heat. Uh, that's that's good then, you know. Wait, have ADR, you, man. Have you checked out Lucha Underground yet? No, man. You ain't getting that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. me neither. Yeah. They're they're okay. Without you guys fucking actually fucking watching this shit. Oh wait, oh wait, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yes. Oh. Yes. But um, I feel like our, our <laughs> podcast credential just got ripped from us. <laughs> Fuck, I quit. <laughs> Fuck you guys, man. I'm gonna get, get some real fucking yeah. 
some real fucking wrestling marks, man. Fuck you guys. Our mark cards got removed. <laughs> I'm, I'm not much of a current mark for like the, I don't know. I watch Raw and fast forward on the DVR. You're more of a historian, is what yeah, you're trying to yeah, yeah, I am. I'm a no, historian. No, but the okay. Lucha Underground shit is actually really dope. And there's this um, there's this guy in there. He's um, his name is Pentagon uh, Junior. Okay. Dude, he's fucking fantastic, and he did this whole fucking storyline with Vampiro on there. Okay. Vampiro is just the Damn. fucking um, uh, the announcer. Okay. But I mean, they're not drug testing in Lucha <laughs> Underground, right? So um. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Nah, he had this fucking awesome storyline with where he like where Vampiro ends up being his master. Like the whole time he's like doing shit for his master. Okay. And he's like getting these get, being told to like break Powers people's be. Yeah, being told to like break people's ha- arms and okay. for the master. And then in the end it's it's Vampiro Damn. actually doing is the master okay. and he, he like was Fair able enough. to like go through all of his tests, you know. Okay. And it's fucking it's awesome and shit. Well, yeah. I mean, Vamp was all, he's all right. Even the junior heavyweight belt, sweet. Yeah, all the belts are pretty fucking sweet in, in fucking New Japan. This AJ match was like epic as fuck, though, because one of the Bucks, I think he's uh, I don't know, I don't remember which one. They take a bump off the top uh, from uh, and he like his head gets split open and just hits the two kids. Yeah. Yeah. No, that what's crazy is the fucking bumps that some of these motherfuckers take. The Japan in, one. In Japan, the fucking. And like some of the, it just it just some of the fucking shit that they take, the kicks that they take, all that strong style shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's okay. That's why in NXT I'm fucking scared for anybody that's going against uh, Asuka. Hey, she's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she's fucking she's amazing. Fucking awesome. But do you see how quick and how strong style she is? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm scared for anybody that's actually yeah. going against her because I don't think any of those those other women's wrestlers, like, are used to that shit. You know who I'm scared for in uh, the complete opposite way is fucking Eva Marie in the ring, man. She fucking terrifies me. I feel like she's going to kill somebody every time she's in there. Yeah, she's going to. She, <laughs> that's just, just not working, man. Let's cut the losses. Come on. I think, that, I think with her, they're trying to, like, she gets so much heat for the wrong reasons yeah. that... They kind of confuse it, right? And they still like, oh, she's getting a lot of heat. No, she's getting a lot of heat because nobody wants to fucking see it. Right for like it's real heat, and, like, like, like real, real heat, yeah, for real heat, yeah, like, real, real heat, heat. Yeah. like, like, like we don't like watching you wrestle, <laughs> so we're gonna, we want, we're just gonna boo you the whole time. Right. That's rough. Which, but the thing is, she's gotten a lot better than what she used to be. Ah, but it's still. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Come on. But it's still not. <laughs> It's still not comparable to what uh, Becky Lynch or no. Sasha Banks or Bailey no, for sure. or yeah. any of them will fucking. They're amazing. Is this Back to the Future guy? No, this is um, that's Tanahashi. He's oh, the okay. he's the champion right now. Okay. Or no, no, he won the G1 uh, Climax tournament. Okay. So he's going against. But no, at this he's time the, of this match, he's the um, I believe he was the uh, the champion. And then I think uh, AJ wins this one. Yep. Yeah. AJ Styles just fucking just constantly has good matches. Yep. Like, right. I was I was going back and just Fifth watching one, all the TNA stuff yeah. and everything, and I'm just like, consistently, he's just fucking yeah. amazing, you know? Yep. I hope he gets I hope he gets a run, man. Let me get a AJ Mania match one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would yeah I would love yeah. to just see him have a legitimate run. Let me see him and Seth, man. That's what that's what needs to happen. Ooh. Yes, man. Man. Like, I need to see that. AJ and Seth Rollins, man, like, give, would be take fucking... Take my money now. Right here, just fucking right, yeah. take, take all yeah, of my money right money. now. Just do, 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 make it happen. Yeah. Be a, that, that should be a WrestleMania match right there. And this, this, is, this is an idea that my friend Tony had. I, th- I wish WWE would do, like, a one-off thing with, like, New Japan. Yeah. Where it's not necessarily storylines, right. but just... A one-off matches with some people like a talent swap even like uh, yeah like where, like where they have like goes. have like Nakamura go against someone yeah. like John Cena versus Nakamura <coughs> or something or Hell yeah. like that it just make it really special not just something that comes on raw or something Super Cena, man. like have have it actual build up where both companies like totally super promote it and 
and it'd just be a big event. That'd be dope. It'd be fucking, and it, you get to see these matches that you never fucking would normally see. I wanna, uh, so Quick we, note, okay, note's funny about AJ Styles in New Japan. Uh, his theme music. You ever fucking hear his theme music? No. Yeah. The lyrics to it are literally, fuck your dreams, fuck your life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. show. <laughs> it keeps on going back and forth on some like pseudo rap shit. Okay. Weird. And I'm like, it's, it's fucking hilarious. Need them gloves. Yeah. I've been looking for, I don't know where the fuck, <laughs> you can't fucking buy those. I was looking for them. The kids in, uh, the, in like the crowd, I have them, like, gloves, like seen a, like, merch for what? AJ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but they look, they look shitty. They, they, yeah. they don't look quality. like his. They yeah. look like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I literally looked for, like, for those. I'm like, I don't want those fucking Bullet Club fucking. Who? DJing them bitches? Yeah, he. <laughs> like you can you can buy like the ones yeah. where it has like the um that other logo on it the fucking like P one logo or yeah, whatever yeah, on it okay, yeah. but not the fucking Bullet Club ones I'm like I want the fucking Bullet Club ones yeah I'd, I'd, yeah I'd be fucking DJing with that shit <laughs> the whole time I'd just be yeah. like yes mix it another record yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw my hands up mix up another record you're a gangster AJ this is a good one because the whole click is outside the ring this whole time it's like that's it if 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 you didn't really ever have a run in the E, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on. I feel like he at least needs, like, the fucking run. You yeah, know? I don't want to see Give the AJ run. Sting run in WWE. Right, right. You where it's know like, what I'm hey. saying? like, what are you doing? You're, you're arguably, like, one of the greatest wrestlers, like, fucking ever. Mm-hmm. And you ain't coming to the fucking biggest and, stage. And, and, and rumor, and rumor, and hit, and rumor is he's not really under contract with anybody anymore right, right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So... He 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 just said he'll go wherever the money is. Just yeah, fuck yeah. You Give know, for his family. Fucking money, you know? goddamn it. Yeah, just he'll go wherever the money is, just for the family, for to you know support his family. Yeah, I mean, I hate and, him, big dad. Yeah, big dad. You know, so it'd be it'd be fucking great if. Look at that belt, man. Look at That's right cool. there, dog. That's strong. It's a it's a huge <laughs> belt. <laughs> right. Yeah, it is. But it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that belt's awesome. The fucking IWGP fucking belt is fucking beautiful. You really get a good look at it when uh, they do the press conference. He's got shit. the cutout robe for the belt. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to cover it up. Right. Hell no. Nah. He's like, how can I like, expose uh, the belt and still rock this see through, <laughs> see through robe it is. <laughs> Literally just has like two buttons right there in the middle. Or a fucking zipper. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got a bikini top on. With the robe back. Yeah, man. So who is this guy? Was he's the champ though, huh? Yeah. Okay. Currently, well, I mean. Yeah, like, at that time, okay. like uh, Tanahashi was the fucking champ. Okay. Um. He's got sweet hair. Yep, sweet hair. I, th- I think what happened was he loses it to AJ here, but then eventually AJ loses it to fucking Okada later in the year. Okay. And Okada's the, uh, the champ right now. And then he's going against him again. Okay. At uh, fucking Wrestle Kingdom. And AJ okay. is What's AJ going doing at Wrestle fucking Kingdom? E. I don't know. Um, I thought they were kind of ramping up a... He's going to the E. Um, an AJ um, Nakamura match. But, and then, I mean, at the last kind of big event... It was um it was Nakamura versus uh um Carl Anderson. Okay. For the fucking belt in uh Carl Loss, but Check it, it was a good match. Look at that. Look at that beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah that's it's good. a chunky belt, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't I don't like the current uh E belt. No, I don't I like really the E don't. belt either. I I mean nah, it's I can't not enough gold. Right. There's too much like uh Just black yeah, black like, leather behind yeah. the the logo. Plus, I mean, like, I like, I don't want the logo to be just so overwhelming. I'm, so I'm huge. A, I'm a, yeah. I'm a spinner belt is what you want. <laughs> yeah. Spinner belt. I don't know. I, don't know. No. I kind of want the spinner belt. Dude, know. the spinner belt would be fucking <laughs> awesome, the spinner man. spinner belt is all right. Just make it not a spinner belt, but leave it like that. Dude, if, like, <laughs> <laughs> like if, I, if right. I became fucking world champ, dude, the next fucking week on Raw, dude. Changing the belt. Changing the belt. Fucking... We were riding spinners, oh, man. Yeah. I'm changing yeah. my fucking theme music to the fucking Three Six Mafia song. Okay. Put, yeah. the, eagle, <laughs> put yeah. the eagle back on it, man. Right. And the glow? 
I need like ain't enough w- going on, man. Yeah, you're the world on. champion. I, I need to see like the you're globe. the world champion. That means right. the fucking water too. Yeah, I want to see the globe. <laughs> I don't want to see the logo just huge. That's it. Wait, fucking wait, did you see, wait recently? Did you see that yeah. Kevin Owens tweet about the fucking the world champ versus the Intercontinental champ? No. What's Someone what mentioned mean? something about what what that covers, and he's like, "Well, I guess if he's the world champ, that means." You're, you get the land and the water. <laughs> I just am the, the champ of the land. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Kevin Owens is fucking money, man. That's Love one of the best Kevin things Owens. that they got going for him right now. He doesn't need to be in the in the click. In no, the, no, he could he could put him over though. Yeah. By the click, I mean the the new guys. The fucking League of the yeah, League, League, of, the League of, of of Extreme Nations, yeah. Extraordinary Nations <laughs> of fucking L-O-N. Benetton. Yeah. Ah, fucking the L O N. Nations. Oh uh, man, remember the L W O? That was great. Latino World Order. Oh yeah, yeah dude. That was awesome. Yeah. What do you mean? Fucking didn't Eddie line them all up and make them take their mask off or something? I don't know about that. No, no. He might have. It wasn't Eddie. I think whoever was in, whoever was, uh. Hoobie Juice? Was no. It, was it the Hoobie Juice? What? Well. I think I Psychosis? got. Psychosis? <laughs> well, back in I the. I think he had to take his mask. Well, back in that, um, back at the, in WCW at the, at the end of the run, fucking when, like, I think when, like, Billy. Uso was there, he didn't like anybody's fucking masks, so he fucking made everybody take them really? off or whatever. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, because because that was when Rey Mysterio lost his mask. The filthy um, animals. Um, the filthy um, animals. Psych- I think Psychosis did. Or um, did Laparca ever lose his mask? I, don't think I feel Lepar- like he was Parker too hard. never lost yeah, his mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't losing. But Di- but Diamond Dallas Page <laughs> did fucking dress up as him that one time. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That was fucking amazing. Yeah, You're huh? like, why is Lepar- yeah. or why, why is Laparca doing all of uh, yeah. DDP's moves? Yeah, his mannerisms seem off. <laughs> how, how did Laparca book a match with Macho? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Macho La- got the nitro yeah. and he was like, uh, <laughs> La Parca? <laughs> Nothing strange about Working that. Working his way up. <laughs> I'm like, are they giving me a jobber match tonight? What the fuck? Man. But I think fucking, uh, yeah, a bunch of the fucking luchadors in WCW like eventually like lost their masks. Are Thunders on yeah. their network yet? No. Oh, I wish. <laughs> oh, Thursday oh. night. Do you remember the Thursday Night Thunder fucking video game for PlayStation? What? Mm-hmm. No. It was awful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nitro. Remember the Nitro game? That was actually quite good. The fucking the Thunder game. Thunder looked exactly like Nitro, okay. but it was glitchy as fuck. Oh yeah. It was as, it was as, it, it was unplayable. They were fucking money on 64 though. Oh yeah, 64 oh. was the, the game. World the Tour game. and, and WWE versus NWO, all those yeah, fucking revenge. the F yeah, games, fucking, oh, uh, No Way Out, uh, all those WrestleMania those are, those 2000. are the best some of the best video games ever yeah. fucking yeah. made for wrestling. 64 yep. was sweet. You hit that fucking joystick for the special move. Oh yeah. Lock up joystick. Grab the weapons out the crowd. Oh yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, those were the fucking days. Those, yeah. those. Is were there awful. blood on those? Oh yeah. Ugh. Yeah, people get color. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I so. Yeah, it's been a long yep. time. I miss the color in the E, man. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no color. You and Brock got the color and then pushed the ref. <laughs> yeah. Was that a work or was <laughs> that? That was, that was sweet. Was that nope. re- was shoot? That you was a that fucking was a shoot? shoot. That was a shoot. Yeah. I love shoots, man. I live for shoots. No, yeah. that was that was a straight shoot, man. Yeah. You wasn't fucking supposed to do that, man. Right. Fucking. So I caught that vibe, and I'm like, yeah, man. He's like, man, get the yeah. fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. Get some color. Get the fuck out of here. Brock seems to always get fucked up and, and get color. Get beast, man. Man, he goes hard, man. Go is hard to go it, home, dog. Is he doing it on purpose, or is it just happening? Just manages. He's got a big head, just maybe. Just just always I think it just happens. Like because a motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, you know, he, he, Goes really fucking hard, man, you know, to the paint and yeah. everything. So you gotta he fucking looks understand. He's blown up the whole time. <laughs> what? He does. Only after when he was suplexing the big show, I'm like, so man, he's, he's gonna die. Fuck, man. He's gonna yeah. fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever see clips of fucking when Brock Lesnar was in New Japan? Mm-mm. He has this fucking weird fucking beard that only like kind of like went to like lined the fucking side of the okay. shit. Okay. Looked really fucking. I've weird. never seen yeah. footage of him in New Japan. And when I heard. Like, I realized that the other day that he was in there. I'm like, man, I'm missing out. I need to YouTube that shit. It was weird. No, for the longest time, I always thought fucking Brock Lesnar was like a straight up, like, 
UFC guy that just decided yeah. to want to ru- get wrestle. Yeah. But he did wrestling first. Yeah. Did I he? never yeah. fucking knew that until recently. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I thought he was just like, yeah, he I just want to go and fucking do WWE. No, he came from fucking yeah. wrestling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fucking JR scouted his ass out of college or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. When was the New Japan run then? Right. It was yeah. um, it was the mid two thousands, I think. Around right before his. Uh, oh yeah, I think I heard him talk about that. Like I, I, he left. Did he leave the F? And then was it the F or the E at that time? Probably the E. At that. Yeah. Yeah, so did he leave that and go <laughs> to New Japan? I think that's what happened before he went to UFC. Uh. Probably went to go get some more wrestling checks before he hit the right. UFC. Yeah, I think, like, that, I think that's more. <laughs> Real quick, do a couple shows. I think. Make yeah, I'm not sure what the. I had a couple towns. Or it might have been. Because um, it had to be towards the end of the um, of the 2000s, more so in the latter part. Because I remember watching a match between um, Lesnar and I think Nakamura, actually. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> so. I see um, that. So that was actually that was, uh, that was fucking dope. Yeah, my friend, I mean, you probably never saw this before. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even know that fucking existed. But um, Nakamura's the guy who rocks like the pleather pants, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, he like as as they say every time he comes out to me, he fucking loves Freddie Mercury. Yeah. <laughs> so so he, yeah, he kind of like reinvented himself a few years ago into that. You know, kind of fucking shaved his head like on the side, had his yeah. long hair. Before he used to have this like fucking really like poofy sort of <laughs> Japanese mullet type well, thing going yeah. on. Well. It was really fucking weird, man. I'm like, I don't know if I can watch these matches, man. You look kind of fucking. I mean, weird. I like you to look like a wrestler, though. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> that's all right with me. Yeah, you're gonna have okay, a stupid yeah. fucked up haircut. <laughs> right. I understand <laughs> because you're a fucking wrestler. You know. Right, dude. Like, that's cool. That, that's the best part of going back and watching all the, the old Memphis shit and everything. Yeah. Is like those motherfuckers. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy right. ass fucking haircuts. Yeah, like, like right when you turn on the first episode of Smoky Mountain Wrestling, you got fucking Dutch Mantel there. Oh, right? yeah. I fucking posted Pretty it on Dutch. my fucking Facebook. Yep. That's exactly what you see. Yep. Right. And I'm like, holy shit. Yep. This guy's fucking awesome. It's been around forever. Yeah, Dutch Mantel is fucking. That is man. fucking wrestling. Dutch Mantel is fucking wrestling. A lot of gimmick. Fuck, he was uh, with the with uh, Jacob and Eli Blue back in the fucking gimmick era too. I think. No. No. I don't know, man. I can't remember that one. Okay. Right. Um, you, you guys are. You got me there, man. Yeah, Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Came up in the gimmick era. Yeah, I'm not up on the old shit like right. that. Like the Lex Express, man. <laughs> the, yeah. Lex Express. Yeah. the Lex Express. Just, oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, like um, first wrestling memory for everybody. Like, this is this the first oh, wow. wrestling portion of the podcast that we're doing? What? Yeah, I guess. What? What? You have you haven't you haven't got this out. Like you haven't said like your first. Oh no, I haven't. No, okay, no, okay. No. okay. Okay, then, well, yeah, yeah, good, yeah, like, good idea there, fucking, thank you. Like, fucking champ. Thanks, man. I'm just trying to, <laughs> to fucking steer the boat a little bit. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Try, try to contribute to the go. fucking podcast. Right. Uh, Survivor Series 1984. Uh, That's the first thing you remember? Yeah, well, oh, I just wow. fucked it up because it wasn't 1984. It was oh, 1989, wow. actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there wasn't Did a Survivor Series in 1984. <laughs> no. <laughs> the fucking B double L's are already yeah, hitting yeah. you, bro. Definitely, oh, no. Fuck it. But I remember going to Blockbuster and getting uh, the big old. Uh, a lot of them had like the porn tape. Uh, the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coliseum, man. I'm not sure if that one did or not. I don't think so. Yeah, the big old plastic fucking porn tape yep. fucking cases. Hell yeah. yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. But that was the first time I ever watched wrestling. I was, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to check out Survivor Series. <laughs> it was like uh, Zeus was on the cover. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was like, I got it. And that's probably, that. yeah, that was around the time when No Holds Barred came out. Yeah. <laughs> remember that movie? Love that movie. Got it on Blu ray over there. Do you remember that movie, you fucking Knox? No Holds Barred? Yeah. Yeah, I oh, remember yeah. on VHS. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I VHS remember seeing that right when it came out. I'm like, oh, fucking shit. Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's fucking classic, man. Hulk Spit. Wait, what was your first fucking, oh, fucking wrestling ma- memory? My first wrestling memory was, our, oh, man. I remember, like, for real, first memory is I remember my older sister crying, like, crying because fucking King Kong Bundy broke uh, Hulk Hogan's ribs. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. That's like, I fuck, was like, wait, what? Fucking kayfabe is yeah. real, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the work still. I was like, oh, shit. 
But yeah, I, mean, I didn't still like really start retaining things or anything yeah, like yeah. that until I found the Lux Express era, man. It was, it was the USS Intrepid, man. The Flam, the Yoko Flam. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking beautiful, man. Fuck it. That's my first like mark moment where I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fucking watching this shit. I think my first memory is so cliche, and it was fucking WrestleMania three. Well, okay, that's fucking really Hogan, right, fucking right, giant, yeah. dude. I remember that like clear as day, like yeah. as being like. I think I, I think I first saw it like over. I was next my next door neighbor. Yeah. I feel like, <clears throat> and they had fucking double VHS of fucking WrestleMania three. Yeah, that's oh, dope. Yeah, man. oh yeah, and. Uh, Slam, yeah, and I remember man. seeing the, the fucking slam, dude. The event of epic proportion. Hell yeah. Dude. Fucking still the indoor attendance record? Or did they break it? Um, that was the indoor attendance record for a long fucking time. Yeah, it held on there for a while. I'm pretty sure it's been broken. Oh, yeah, it's pretty much been broken, like, yeah, a bunch other of places. places. Well, I know where WrestleMania is on, in fucking Dallas, so it's going to be bigger yeah, than that. Yeah, they're trying to yeah. do that shit. That's yeah. way bigger than that, actually. Yeah. yeah. But, um... Anybody trying to go to WrestleMania? Man. Galley's I'm pushing hard for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, on the fence Jake about Newman it. Jake Newman Pigpen, good brothers, going to fucking WrestleMania this year. Yes. Oh, I wish I could. I don't know if I can Man. swing the time, you know. Yeah. 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 That'd be rough. But that'd be dope. But who knows what the car's even going to look like this year. Now with Seth out. Right. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah it's, it's such a mystery. It's a year to go. Oh, might see, yeah, might see Taker's last match. Who knows? Is he out or is he Terry Funkin just sticking around? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I love Taker and everything, but dog, uh, he needs to like kind of step away. Maybe I don't know, man. Yeah, that's how you're feeling. It's, it's, I love it's seeing time, him, but it's, yeah, it's, it's time it's, to go. It's, it's time, man. It's time to go, bud. Flair was going pretty late there. Oh, oh yeah, going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad. fucking bad. Oh man. <laughs> I th- yeah, I think they had to fucking finally tell him, that, yo, fuck yeah, it. Just stay outside the ring, right. bro. We'll, we'll still give you money. You just we'll still you gotta wrestle. Real. It had yeah. to be pre uh, PG era. They did a match. It was Flair and Foley. And they did like thumbtacks. Flair took Call the tacks. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Flair was a mess. They were both. That match was awesome. Can joke still probably. Well, yeah, yeah, he's good for at least 15, 20 right now. <laughs> Madison Square, you can do it. He's, he's ready, man. He's yep. just like, yep. Woo! He's on the dentist stamp. Never know when fucking be ready plan. Yeah. <laughs> he always looks like he yeah, loves it. He's still around. You guys watched that movie out. back in the day? The what was it? Beyond the Mat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, the fucking that Dennis Stamp dude. You remember him? Kind of. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Jumping on a trampoline and shit in the movie. He's like, you never know when you're gonna fucking get a shot to go. Gotta stay ready. (laughs) I'm like, yes, man. Yeah. Okay. I think now that we've fucking shared our memories, we should fucking close out this first first episode that we're fucking (laughs) (laughs) shared our memories. Shared our fucking (laughs) early memories. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Fuck it, this is time where you guys can fucking plug your shit. If you guys want to fucking plug your shit or where they can find your shit on the fucking internet. Oh, wow. Fucking, uh, what do we got? We got the knoxmoney.bandcamp.com. We got the new record on there going over. Yeah, we got a vinyl for sale on there. You can get the MP3s for free. Yep. Also, check out 20by20apparel.com for all your wrestling t-shirt needs. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you can uh, always check Fresh is the Word online at freshispodcast.com. On the social medias, we're on Instagram and Twitter at Fresh is the Word 1. That's Fresh is the Word, the number one. And then Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash Fresh is the Podcast. Go give us a like. Um, that's about it. We're going to drink some more BWLs and probably record another fucking podcast here. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Fresh, 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 fresh is the word.